Teacher Amber, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. And I have with me Teacher Paul. He's going to help me as we go through our story and as we do our rules. Do you know our first rule, Teacher Paul? Of course I do. You guys remember our first rule? Our very first rule is to be kind always. And that just doesn't mean being kind to you or your best friend. It means being kind to your parents, your brothers and sisters sisters, your cats, your dogs, your aunts, your uncles, your nuncles, and your funkles. I have no idea what a funkle is, but yeah, we should be kind to everybody. everyone. Uh, I wonder what our second rule to be, should be today. Oh, oh, I know. Our second rule should be we need to hold our breath for as long as possible. That sounds kind of hard. It's right. easy. Let's see, we can try. Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, man. That was intense. Whoa. I can't hold my breath very long. I don't think I could have held my breath a second longer. Maybe we'll skip that one. Hey, did you know that lifeguards have to hold their breath for a really long time so that they can help people if they have to swim a long way? Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I don't think I need any saving. I'm a pretty good swimmer. Yeah? Dog paddle really good. Yeah, it's a good dog paddle. That's awesome, but you know, even though we're good at a lot of different things, the Bible says we still need someone to save us. I don't know about that. I'm pretty good at a lot of things, so do I really need, you know, saving? That's what the Bible says. In fact, it says that even if you're good at a lot of things, every single person on this earth needs somebody to save them. In fact, that's what our story is about today. A long, long time ago, there was a man named Isaiah. Isaiah was a prophet or messenger from God. Isaiah had a special message that God would send a savior to the earth and that there would be someone who would get everything ready for the savior to come. The man who would prepare everything was John the Baptist. John was kind of a strange guy. He wore weird clothes, he ate some pretty weird food, and he lived out in the desert by himself. The things he did might seem kind of silly to us, but they were important to show the people around him that he was a follower of God with a special mission. John the Baptist traveled and taught many people about God and about the Savior who was coming, Jesus. John the Baptist baptized people and helped them get ready for Jesus' arrival. John the Baptist helped Jesus by preparing the people around him to know that they needed Jesus to rescue them. So just like the people in our story who needed Jesus as their savior, we do too. Wow, I guess it doesn't matter how good you are, you still need Jesus. Exactly. In fact, we have a new memory verse this month to remind us of that. But as for me, I watch in hope for the Lord. I wait for God my Savior. My God will hear me. Micah 7, 7. Oh man, that sounds like a lot of waiting and wondering and patience. It's very true, but Jesus is always worth the wait. Well, that's all the time we have for today, kids. So be sure to like and subscribe to our awesome YouTube channel for more videos. And if you want to listen to some awesome music, check out the links below for some great worship songs catered just for you guys. And don't forget, it's almost Christmas, and I can't wait for that. We're counting down. See you guys later. Bye.